Well, Sean, we had a little more rain and then some sunshine. Now some more rain coming in again. And yeah. You can't say it's been boring. Mm -hmm. We, You know, we've been doing this every other day thing for quite a while now. Yeah. And I think that uh, we've done a good job of making up for the very dry mm -hmm. late yeah. winter, early spring that we had. And now it's time to get rolling in those fields. We're uh, past the last uh, typical frost date. And uh, I think planting is... Uh, about ready. Here's a live view. This is on Highway 14 looking toward 169 where we have that slowdown there with some of the uh, one lane of traffic in each direction. Things seem to be moving along okay. This is uh, near Riverfront by the river on 169. We have a nice afternoon going on here and things are going to get better because the wind is going to be dying down very quickly here as we make our way into this evening. So things are definitely going to get better. We're at 67 now. The wind west to 21. We still have gusts up to around 30, even up to 35 in a few spots. But the wind is gradually going to back off. Things will improve as we make our way into the mid evening hours. So if you do want to get outside and you don't like the wind, it's going to be a little better here by 8, 9 o'clock. 68, Wasika, Albert Lee, Blue Earth, 66 in Owatonna, Twin Cities at 69. We're at 65 at Hutch. Redwood Falls at 64. Slayton, 62. Fairmont at 68. Algona is currently at 70. And we have a lot going on. It's going to be a nice start to tomorrow. We do have a chance of rain and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and night, especially south of Mankato. Could be a, a couple of isolated thunderstorms late Friday and then again at some point over the weekend, but generally it is going to be a sunny, warm, pleasant weekend and that trend is going to continue into next week. Here's our live Doppler and you can see this uh, line of showers and thunder showers off to our east. That front that came through overnight and brought the rain kind of stalled over here. And so there are a few showers and thunderstorms over in western Wisconsin, east of Rochester, over toward uh, Red Wing and Winona. We have a couple of little blips. Actually, one tiny little green blip over Mankato right now just to sprinkle a couple of showers down around Okoboji, but nothing that's going to really amount to a whole heck of a lot. We have a great big upper level low sitting over Bismarck, North Dakota right now. That's going to continue to spin and will eventually work its way out. But by tomorrow, we're going to see another little lobe of energy slide east, and that is going to bring a chance of showers and thunderstorms. And uh, while there really isn't much of a severe risk, these thunderstorms are going to come in a couple of slow moving rounds, and so there will be potential for some heavier rain. You can kind of see uh, here in New Orleans, Mankato, we're going to be in that around quarter inch potential range. Not everyone's going to get that, but there will be some. And then further south along I-90, there will be the potential for some places to get a half inch to an inch, maybe a little more, depending on where these individual slow moving storms develop. Severe weather, again, not going to be a huge threat. Maybe a couple of isolated, stronger storms, but really we don't have the dynamic set up for uh, severe weather. I want to take you through it hour by hour through this evening, a couple of sprinkles here and there, then a beautiful start with sunshine in the morning tomorrow. Here we are by noon. We're going to start to see some showers and thunder showers popping up down in northern Iowa. They will drift to the north and then more rounds of rain will kick through and you can kind of see how the heavier rain will be along and south of I-90. A couple of isolated showers and thunder showers into Thursday morning. Then we clear out and that's going to lead us into a really nice weekend. 48, partly cloudy tonight. South wind at 5 to 15 tomorrow. Sunshine in the morning, some late afternoon and nighttime thunderstorms. We'll get to 70 tomorrow. The wind will be northeast at only about 5 to 15, so we do get a break from the wind too. Thursday, cooler, 62. Friday, some isolated late day thunderstorms. I don't think it's going to be a real big deal. 68 are high on Friday. And look at this extended forecast. The weekend. 60s to mid 70s on Sunday, and we're going to keep that 70 trend going. Maybe a couple of isolated showers. You know, it's summertime, so the afternoon heating gives an isolated shower or thunder shower. But over and all, things are good looking good here through the weekend and most of next week. Stacey right. and Dion. And Tuesday, not too soon to look at that weekend. Mm -hmm. You got it. All righty. Thank you, Sean. Well, tonight at 10, Stormy Daniels takes the stand. Details from the New York City courtroom about her alleged encounters with former President Trump. Plus, a Pennsylvania teen is spearheading an effort to have young people get their hearts checked. We'll tell you why. Join us for those stories and more tonight on KEYC News Now at 10. We'll be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.